We don't live in a broken society. We live in a society that has lost its aims, lost its direction, basically doesn't know where it's going, and certainly hasn't realised how it can live in peace and harmony. And those challenges are both international and domestic. On the international front, how can we, those of us who originate in Britain or live in Britain, how can we as a former imperial power play a role that is truly constructive in the world, that promotes peace and development and understanding, and not war, injustice, and an ever wider gap between rich and poor? But it is not only that international challenge, it's a domestic challenge too. I feel that living in Tower Hamlets, one of the most extraordinary diverse boroughs there is in London, let alone Britain, where on the one hand you have the shining phallic towers of capitalism, Canary Wharf, etc., and multi-million pound apartments for people who work in those buildings. And on the other hand, most of my neighbours many of them of Bengali origin, who are amongst the most poor and deprived and educationally deprived in the whole of the capital. And it's all our responsibility, not just in Tower Hamlets, not just in London, but in the whole of Britain, and I would argue in the European Union, being a fervent supporter of European cooperation, to stand up to those challenges of diversity, of poverty and to realize that the only way that that will happen in other words that the answer can be found is indeed through dialogue and cooperation one of the unfortunate things about british political tradition is that it's yabu it's i'm right you're wrong you're either in power or you're out and so rarely in Parliament itself and beyond Parliament, do people actually get together and realise that whether it's the Bengali family that lives on one side of my house or the Singaporeans who live on the other side, with three different religions, three different backgrounds, actually we are all human beings and we're all motivated by that desire, whatever we say sometimes when we're angry or frustrated, by that desire for peace, cooperation and love. Thank you.